Okay, here I have a small Word document that contains uh, blue texts that uh, do not need to be translated. So I have them all over the place and I don't need to translate them. They are instructions for the guy who will be doing the DTP. Now, if I import this document with the normal import function in MemoQ, it will look like this. So as you can see, all the blue text in the Word document, they are also in the MemoQ editor. So this is not what I want to do, and uh, I will show you a way to avoid this. Now what I will do in Word, I will create a new style here, and uh, here new style. I will name it untranslatable. I will define it as character style. This is important and OK. Now I have my style and I can either apply it manually to each portion of blue text, but it's going to be a bit um, slow. So instead I will use words find replace function. I will be looking for blue text. So this color here and I will replace it with the style that I just defined, so untranslatable. Okay, and now I will replace all. So now all my blue texts are formatted with the untranslatable style. I will save my document, close it, and I will go back to MemoQ. This time in MemoQ I will be using the import with options function here. My text is here and I will select the change filter and configuration. Here I will add a style to be excluded and this style will have the same name as the one I created in Word, untranslatable. I will define it as external and add it. At the same time I could be adding for future use uh, other similar styles so I will add untranslatable 2 and untranslatable 3 and untranslatable four. Okay, I'll also make a change to tab here. I prefer to have tabs start new segments and uh, now I'm ready. So what I will do, I will add this as a new configuration and I will call it untranslatables. Okay, and now I'm ready to import my document. This time my document was uh, imported and as you can see there are only 72 segments whereas uh, earlier on we had uh, 93. So if I open it for translation, I can see that my blue text in Word, they are no longer in the MemoQ editor. So now I can remove the first try at importing this document. So there you have it, how to import untranslatable text in a Word document in MemoQ. Thank you for watching, do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.